Busy night for Greenville City Council tonight with a number of high profile topics on the agenda. That includes approving a budget for the next fiscal year and the latest on the effort to develop the old Imperial Tobacco site. WNCT's Brandon Truitt attended tonight's meeting. He's in our newsroom now with more on what went down. Brandon. Ken, it's a piece of the history for the city of Greenville, but tonight City Council heard the first of plans to move forward with the Imperial Tobacco site. On Monday, Greenville City Council was presented a plan for the Imperial Tobacco Warehouse site. The proposed solution would allow for a mixed-use facility to be built in its place. Jordan Jones with the UNC School of Government says the plans would bring the city a mix of art, entertainment, and job opportunities that would ultimately economically benefit the city. You know, when we talk about downtowns, we talk about the downtowns of community's living room. This is a community's project, and we've been very intentional about including the community in this process through our public engagement. The proposal would require $5.1 million of the city's money. In return, the city would gain additional parking spaces and increased business attraction. We need jobs downtown. We need jobs in the city. We need jobs. And that's why we have the Office of Economic Development. We have a site that formerly served as a real economic hub for our city that provided plenty of jobs and plenty of culture through our tobacco history. Schoenman says this site is a gold mine of opportunity for the city. They say this multi-purpose project would include construction for more versatile housing options. Think about dedicating a parcel or a building for a low-income housing tax credit project. The alternative option we've been looking at is how do we integrate this affordable housing throughout the site. And so we've come up with a structure uh, to see somewhere between 7 to 8 percent of the total residential units within the site be dedicated as affordable. The council voted to move forward with the plans with a vote of four to two. Jones says the plans will attract nearly $68 million of private investment into the city. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. All right, thank you, Brandon.